Hi guys, so today I thought I would film my six week and I believe I'm going to be filming my eight week um, pregnancy update and I'm so excited to film these because I'm just ecstatic to be pregnant. Um, but as many of you might know, I have type 1 diabetes which makes the whole being pregnant uh, kind of a little less fun, I think. Um, just because it is so much more high risk and that's it's just uh, basically a lot of work. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited and just happy to be pregnant and the midwife says that everything is healthy and um, just the general well-being of me and my child at the moment is really good. So um, I've only had good things said so far. So fingers crossed. Um, I'm just going into my notes on my phone because I have wrote them down. Okay, so for my six weeks, I don't know if you can see, uh, there's a few notes. Um, there's some points that I have noticed and written down that have changed due to diabetes or like my diabetes has changed, I'm not quite sure how to say it. Um, but I've just noticed changes in my general care for diabetes, so I've noted them and I think there's something worth mentioning. Um, so one of the first things I've written is feeling written, sorry. One of the first things I've written is feeling a lot of nausea. Now I haven't actually had any morning sickness. I've just been feeling very sick a lot of the time. And it has reduced my appetite by a ton. Like I haven't eaten properly in uh, a good month now just because I just haven't got an appetite and I do feel so sick when I'm about to eat or when I'm trying to think of what I want to eat. And obviously that's a bit of an issue with my diabetes because I need to eat. Um, but I have spoken to the midwife, she said it's perfectly normal and just to try and eat small and just try and eat as often and as regularly as I can but obviously don't force myself too much because otherwise I will throw up and then I'll probably find I hate that more and I just won't want to eat whatsoever. Um, Another thing I've noted for my six weeks is a loss of balance. And now this was probably one of my first symptoms of being pregnant. Uh, just day to day walking and doing tasks in work, I was getting very kind of wobbly over. Because uh, in work we have to, it's very fast paced and you kind of have to maneuver your way past things when things are being done and I, I was just falling all over the place so that was probably one of my first signs of being pregnant like an actual pregnancy symptom um hormonal wow yes i have been hormonal apparently um this has been noted and seen and picked up on by my family my partner um just the generally the people i work with i've fallen into a lot of arguments with many people recently just because I'm hormonal my moods everywhere and I feel like I'm also not really taking much of a stand for some of the shit people would say to me like normally I just brush it off and kind of get on with it and ignore it but I noticed in work when people were making comments to me I was actually having them for it and just saying shit back to them rather than just letting it slide um when I was at one of my appointments at, I think it was around six weeks, two days, um, I went to see a consultant-led team of midwives and consultants for diabetes, uh, just to talk about, talk about my general care for my diabetes during this pregnancy. And um, I was asking the midwife or my mum where my blood meter was, and I was holding it in my hand. And she picked up, she was like, you got pregnancy brain? I was like, Phew. I hope not because I'm very early on in my pregnancy and I'm dead forgetful anyway. So, uh, pregnancy brains already hit me apparently. Um, I also have noted I have the odd cramping here and there, lower down. Um, I think that's normal. I've I've asked the midwife about it. She said that you know it's nothing to worry about. Everything's just kind of getting attached and doing what it does down there. Um, Again, this was probably one of my other first symptoms of being pregnant with the cramping because throughout all my teenage years, um, having my period and everything, I've never cramped and 
to suddenly start cramping, like only occasionally, they wasn't hurting, um, but to start cramping was something that obviously I noticed was a change and was different. Um, so yeah, that was probably one of my, I'd say maybe like four, five, four or five days past ovulation, that was probably one of my first signs of my pregnancy, kind of being there, just the cramping and again, the loss of balance. And so, um, I've also written down, I wouldn't say I've noticed any food aversions, I, I haven't, I feel like just generally a lot of appetite is something that's quite concerning to me, but I haven't really noticed that I'm fancying foods any differently or really hating foods at all. Um, I'm just not fancying eating at all, which is something that's very different for me because I really like eating. Um, I've also noted that my urination hasn't been more frequent or any different, which people do say is one of the most noticed signs of their pregnancy at first. I haven't felt that, I haven't noticed it, no one's noticed it. Um, but I don't know if that's because I'm quite a frequent weir anyway, because of my diabetes, I've always frequently weed. So I think maybe that was just, um, it's just something that I was never going to catch off, catch on to, but I was probably doing it anyway. Um, yeah. Um, I've also noted here that feeling helpless, um, I've never really suffered with any mental, um, illnesses or, you know, anything like that, but I recently... I've just felt like a helpless. I just feel like no one can help me. I can't help myself. I just feel very lost and a little bit down. Um, but I'm just putting that down to, obviously I'm keeping track of it, but I'm just putting it down to a change in hormones and hormones imbalance and just my body going through a whole lot of changes. Um, but yeah, I've um, had days where I've really like, Normally, if I feel down or something, I speak to someone about it, but these days I just haven't said anything because I feel like no one can help me and it's just, I'm just an inconvenience as well. Um, but yeah, I've never really suffered with anything, so it's something that I've been keeping an eye on and it is getting really better and I, again, like I've said, my hormones are everywhere, so I have just put it down to that. Now, for the diabetes side, I haven't got that many things to say um and i don't i don't even know if they are they are pregnancy related but there's something that i noticed during my first six weeks of being pregnant that have changed with my diabetes so i thought i'd note them down and just speak about them anyway um my bloods have been really hard to settle i my bloods just haven't settled properly and if they have they're settling too low um they i'm hypoing so frequently and i hate hypos so um, that's also why I went to see a consultant-led team very early on. Uh, but yeah, they've just been a bit irrational, but a lot better than normal. Should I know? I should know that they've been a lot better than normal because I've had really poor diabetes control, um, all my life, so. And another thing I mentioned was my normal sites for cannula setup not working. Um, so normally I insert my cannula into my belly, just like, like maybe that far away from my belly button sort of thing, um, where I've been told to, and they just weren't working, like I've had to go up slightly higher, slightly lower, and more round to the side just to set it up and get the insulin going through because my pump was saying that my lines were blocked or the actual, the sticky bit of the setup just wasn't sticking in my body so I just moved all the sites around and everything um, but I haven't really mentioned that to anybody because I'm um, just doing my research online even if you're not pregnant it can happen and your regular sites just occasionally don't but yeah I haven't noticed anything it's too bad with my diabetes to be fair I've been quite lucky at the moment but yeah I've definitely noticed a lot of bloatingness in the six weeks in my first maybe in the first two weeks I, I was just so bloated and I, I felt bloated I felt horrible I felt humongous 
Um, so yeah, that's everything that I think I've got to mention for my six week pregnancy update. Um, this is going to be the first of hopefully very many. I'm really excited to film these and today this when I was doing my makeup and stuff I was kind of like mm, I don't really feel like filming this but I feel like in a year's time when I'm wanting to look back or like maybe in two years time or when I get pregnant again if I get pregnant again I'm gonna want to compare stuff and I'm gonna want to see how things are different and what are really similar and I feel like these are really good videos just to film for yourself more than anything but these have been my symptoms this is everything i've experienced in my first six weeks and if you've enjoyed this video be sure to hit subscribe um i'll be leaving a lot more of these pregnancy related videos on my channel soon um but yeah hope you have a good day and i'll speak to you all in my next video Bye.